Hey everybody, good morning. It is March 9, 2020 and I'm saying this because it is very important to this video. <sighs> Usually I do videos that are lighthearted, that are happy, that are, you know, random. But today is going to be a very important topic. And that topic is the Corona virus or COVID-19. What am I doing talking about the coronavirus? Well, I woke up to another text saying that another event has been canceled. For your information, I'm actually a professional host. I've been hosting weddings, debuts, Christmas parties, corporate events, launches, concerts, what have you. I've hosted almost all the events you can think of. And it's really, it's really, like I'm speechless. I'm speechless on how the coronavirus has affected so many industries right now like we are affected right now in the sense of societal behavior and health awareness but i'm not sure that we know how much this is going to affect our economy so i'm not going to speak on behalf of the events industry i'm just going to be giving examples of what's been going on i've had friends in the automotive industry who are telling me that they are affected in a sense that they can't get certain parts for their cars because their parts are coming from abroad friends in the shipping industry who are telling me that things have been slowing down for them obviously the travel industry has been taking a big hit especially in the philippines where we have so many travel bans coming out left and right obviously the airline industry is also going to be affected because the travel industry is affected and there are so many friends of mine who are telling me that so many flight attendants are also being asked to retire early because of the coronavirus since they need to cut costs now in terms of the events industry again i am not the official face and i'm not talking on their behalf i'm just going to tell you my experience and some of the experiences that i've been reading online maybe some of you have heard of the wonderland music and arts festival and they have actually postponed or rescheduled their concert to a later date that has not been officially announced yet why because mass gatherings have been discouraged by the department of health and of course having a concert is considered a mass gathering so many people who bought tickets are mad because some of them are flying in from abroad some of them already plotted their leaves at work some of them really saved up to get those tickets but the fact of the matter is it's more important to be sure that our health is safe a lot of them don't realize that people in the events industry are also being affected. Organizers of Wonderland affected. The bands, the artists, they booked that date which could have gone to a different gig but now it's, it's done. We have also the other suppliers like lights and sounds, the photographers and the videographers, loot concessionaires and so on and so forth. Other talents like voiceover talents or DJs or hosts. All of these people have been affected and have lost a job. They can't book another gig for that date. So that's basically money lost. Personally, how did I get affected? This is an example of the events industry being hit. Last year, March 2019, I've had 13 booked events, okay? 13, one, three. March 2020, I've had only five booked events that are not canceled. I've actually booked 10 events this March, but five of them got canceled because of the coronavirus. 50%, gone. That's money, gone. Time that I won't be able to see again and give to another person who can pay me as well. And it's just baffling, it's just like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm happy that I have other investments, other businesses that can generate income, but my main income is the events industry. Now, because of this, I wanted to also do a video about what's been going on as of March 9, 2020. It's important that I say this date because we don't know what the updates are going to be tomorrow or even tonight for that matter. It's 12.35 on March 9, 2020. Just to let you know, everything that I'm going to be saying comes from the Department of Health official website, which is doh.gov.ph. 
www.who.ph. If you're going to be listing information, it should be coming from the WHO or World Health Organization if you want a more international scope of what's been going on with the coronavirus. Or locally, you should go to the Department of Health official website. In the Philippines, we have 10 confirmed cases of the coronavirus, four of which have just been confirmed this March. Out of the 10 confirmed cases, seven are admitted in private hospitals, two have already recovered, and one died. And the one person who died was a Chinese tourist. May his soul rest in peace. We already have reached localized transmission of the virus. Localized transmission, meaning the person that was affected was neither a foreigner nor has traveled. It is now locally transmitted. Because of this, the Department of Health has already raised the alert system for COVID-19 to code red sub level one. Code red. Such a worrisome code. I mean, out of all of the colors, it has to be code red. We need to clarify what code red means. A lot of people are gonna freak out. They're gonna like, you know, <sighs> they're gonna freak out. But code red sub level one does not mean you should freak out. It is a preventive call to ensure that national and local government units, especially the private and public health care providers, can prepare for the possible increase in suspected and confirmed cases. Basically, what it's saying is hello, all of the national and local government units, healthcare providers, we need y'all to be prepared just in case we have more confirmed cases in the country. That's what it means when it says code red. Because we have reached code red, there is another plan to it. The Department of Health is asking the Office of the President to approve the declaration of the state of public health emergency state of public health emergency a lot of people are going to freak out on that one but again we just want to clarify the declaration of the state of public health emergency will facilitate mobilization of resources again i'm reading this from the department of health website ease processes including procurement of critical logistics and supplies and intensifying reports so that means that we just need more resources more supplies logistics meaning we need to know where we should put them in what hospitals if ever that they do actually increase and i think the most important is intensifying reporting so when you do intensifying reporting the minute that you find someone who has those symptoms you should report immediately and they will be quarantined another important factor of the declaration of the state of public health emergency means you are not allowed to resist quarantine. The state of public health emergency actually gives the government more authority to implement protocol. So if you resist, you're gonna be in trouble. There will be sanctions. All of the local government units, the healthcare providers have to already implement planned response measures, including the quarantine of individuals who are resisting. If you just came back from traveling or have a history of traveling recently and you have mild symptoms like cough, fever, cold, sore throat, then you should do home quarantine and then you should call a person coming from your city hall or municipality and they should send a health professional to your home to assess, to monitor, and to manage your sickness to find out whether or not you have the virus. Now, if you do have the virus, then please follow the protocol. If you don't have the virus, which let's face it, most likely at this point, we hope that you don't have the virus, then you should just drink a lot of water and make sure you get healthy again. For your sake and the sake of everybody around you, just go into quarantine. In light of the quarantine word, when you hear quarantine, don't be scared off the bat because actually quarantine means that they're just going to be observed. Just to let you know, 700 people have been quarantined for possible infection, 48 of whom are actually admitted in health facilities across the country, and 646 have been discharged. Meaning 646 out of the 700 people who have been quarantined are healthy and not carrying the coronavirus. Don't be afraid to get quarantined. From what I learned growing up here for the past 15 years, 
the psychology or the habit of the Filipino is that if I am severely sick or if I'm feeling something really really bad I don't want to go to the hospital and I don't want to go to the doctor because I'm afraid that it's going to be worse than it actually is and I'm going to have to deal with all of that emotion and all of that stress and I just don't want to deal with it wrong way to deal with a sickness because not only is it going to be detrimental or it's going to be critical to your health but you're actually going to be affecting everybody else around you so if you are sick please go to a health professional or let your local government unit know it is better that they know earlier so you can manage it earlier and there's going to be a higher percentage that you're going to come out of it alive healthy and well i hope it sheds light as to what code red means state of public health emergency means because those are big scary words that we hear on the news lately and I just don't want you guys to freak out so thanks for watching my video I hope this helps you calm down a little bit and makes you just slightly more aware than you were I know that life can be really really worrisome but the key here is to be aware to be prepared and to know what to do next